Hi friends, welcome to Easy and Homestyle Cooking. I'm Mrs. Ragini. Today, I'm going to share a very, very simple rice recipe. And this rice, anywhere in AP or Telangana, you will find this for any festivals, any functions. This is nothing but a bagara rice. So let's start how to make this simple bagara rice recipe. But we are going to use basmati rice to make this rice. And here is the basmati rice. I soaked this for just 30 minutes. If you soak it, you will get it perfect rice and you will get like, you know, our uh, pearls. My husband always says biryani or any type of bagara rice or basmati rice, it should be like pearls. We are going to start off the cooking. Just take a pan and we are going to add some oil in this. You can add ghee also, dear friends. I'm going to add some ghee in the last. So initially, I'm adding very less of oil. Once the oil is heated, we are going to add all the dry masalas. This is bagara rice, so lot of spices. Here is the bay leaf, cloves, cardamom, cinnamon stick, and some shahi jeera, biryani kaful, maize. Just give a mix. In this, we are going to add roughly chopped onions. So here is the roughly chopped onions. Add it. You can use one or two. If you are adding more of rice, then you can use two of uh, onions. I am using one cup of rice. So I am using one onion. And we are going to add some salt. Very little. Mix this. And also some green chilies for spiciness and ginger garlic paste. Bagara rice, they use lot of ginger garlic paste and lot of mint and onions. So always try to add little bit extra of ginger garlic paste. We are going to cook the ginger garlic paste for just one minute. We are not going to add any turmeric, just the ginger garlic paste. We want the raw flavor from the ginger garlic paste to go. So we are going to cook this for a minute. And now add the mint. If you want, you can just roughly chop the mint, but this will get anyway slightly mashed in this. We don't want to chop this. Add the mint and give a mix. We'll get an excellent mint flavor to our bagara rice. We're going to add some coriander also. So here is some coriander leaf, finely chopped. Add it and mix it once more. Once this is slightly cooked, we are going to add water. Totally it will take around uh, 2 to 3 minutes. Then you can add the water. Here is the onions and now I am getting the bagara flavor. Bagara is nothing but you know the masala thadka in this and it's giving an excellent flavor. Now we are going to add water to this and increase the flame. If you are taking 1 cup of rice then you need to add 1 and a half cup of water for the basmati rice. If you are soaking it then 1 and a half cup should be sufficient and let's check the salt taste always you need to check before adding your rice the salt should be nice and perfect I can add some more of salt it should not be too salty because we are going to have this bagara rice with uh, some type of curry so don't add too much of salt and once this comes to a boil we are going to add the soaked basmati rice so here is our water getting boiled now you can just add the rice, soaked basmati rice. Don't mix it too much, otherwise the rice will break. Initially, we are going to cook this rice in a high flame. Then we are going to reduce the flame and cook it till our rice is totally, totally done. Initially, I have increased the flame. Once the moisture has been slightly reduced, I have covered this with a lid and you can see, I am cooking in very, very slow flame till the rice is totally, totally done. And if you see, I'm going to just show you the moisture. It's nice and grainy, grainy and there is no moisture left. Slightly it's there. Another two minutes if you're going to rest it. Whatever the moisture is there, that will be absorbed. Now we're going to switch off the flame and we're going to rest this for at least five minutes and then serve it. You will get an excellent, excellent bagara rice. After five minutes of this bagara rice sitting here, just remove the lid and now whatever the moisture is there that will be absorbed and let's plate this. This goes excellent with any kind of curries dear friends. You can see the color has been totally changed because of the mint and the onions 
and the garam masala which we added, some more of rice and a bay leaf on top and this is ready to serve. So here our rice, mm, excellent flavor, the basmati rice flavor and the bagara flavor. I always used to love to have you know just the rice and mutton gravy or chicken gravy any type of nice spicy gravy I love to have with this rice and if you have some onions beside this will taste amazing mm. because we added salt if you have it just like this also it will taste super yummy I hope you enjoyed this simple session of making bagara rice if you like it make it share it and also feed your family fresh food see you in another session with some more recipes